Hi guys, welcome back to Crafted by Kiki. My name is Chef Kiki and today I'm going to be reviewing a new knife kit that I got and I also will be going over the contents of my current one. And you guys are going to see me make the switch today. Um, so a little backstory, I've had this Mercer knife kit um, since my freshman year of college and I have the same knives and I've just added some other items to my knife kit um, that I thought that I needed during class that I found essential. Um, I did get a new um, chef kit to carry my knives and I can't wait to show you guys I'm super excited about that. Um, my knife kit is a mess. I actually haven't been in here since the end of last semester. Uh, so this is kind of a random pocket. I have a scale that is something I found really useful to have in class. My scale is actually broken. I do need to get a new one because this is not the type of scale that really is supposed to go in bags, but it worked for a good while before it broke. Um, next, I have these different tools in a bag. What these are, they're, they are sauce, saucing tools. Like You can use it to do different designs on the plates with sauce. Um, there's a small one, a big one. And then this set also came with tweezers. So I either lost most of the tweezers or I have them in my chef coat back at school. Um, but I have one more pair here. Um, this is just a regular straight tweezer. This is really good for plating, placing garnishes on the food. Um, they are There are angled tweezers, which I prefer better. So that one is one that's in my chef coat back at school. But it came with a set of like three or four different ones. Um, Let's see, in this pocket, I also have a bunch of measuring uh, tools and cups. We do have measuring cups and measuring spoons in class, but it's always good to have your own set. It's easier to locate if you find your own stuff. Um, like I said, everything's kind of just thrown in my bag. <laughs> Usually we're in a rush. Just some stuff like that. Let's see. I'm also cleaning up my knife kit so I can switch over to the new one. I don't know why this is in my bag. Um, I know that we had a free table at school with just random things that they were giving out. So I took this. It's free. I'm going to polish it up and get it cleaned up. Um, these are just some old booklets from some wine tastings that we had. They were actually really fun to do. We had wine and cheese tastings. Um, different other snacks to pair with those as well. Um an old practical exam. <laughs> like I said, I haven't really been through this bag in quite some time. More wine books and an old syllabus. A bunch of random stuff. Um, so far that is pocket one. This Mercer knife kit has three pockets. And within those pockets, there's other openings as well, but I never put anything in there. See, center pocket, there's nothing. So now to the fun part, my favorite part of my knife kit, which is my knives. So I don't want to hold this up too much because I don't want them to fall out. But I have my knife kit where the sharp things are. I have this handy dandy utility kit. I absolutely love this thing. People see me pull it out and they're like, is that a burrito? And I'm like, no, it is actually full of my smaller knives. We have my paring knife, my tournée knife, and my peeler. And I also have a bench scraper that's for baking and like scraping the bowls. Um, so what you do, you just roll it back up, it's Velcro, and there we go. We have a utility kit for smaller items. Um, in my knife kit, I'm gonna flip the camera. Okay, so this is the inside section of my knives. Um, as you see here, I have a microplane that's like a grater for like different things, whatever. Um, I have a honing steel. My chef knife it has lots of scratches on it. Um, I have a serrated knife and it has rust on it. Let me tell you why. So when you have, uh, originally get your knife kit, all the knives, everything in here comes with a plastic sleeve that goes over. Um, over time, depending on which teachers you have, they uh, advise you to get rid of those plastic sleeves because first they're unsanitary, they can breed up bacteria on your knives and that's not safe. Also, it can make your knives rust. So that is what happened here. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of rust on my knife. I've barely used that knife, and I was kind of sad when I saw that. Um, but I did um, discard of all those plastic casings. Um, I did invest in a few knife covers. I need to get more for different sizes. These are just the ones that they had in my school store, but they didn't have any more at the time. Um, these are knife guards. So these ones are safe because they're open on the side, so air can come in and out. I do need to get a longer one. This is my fillet knife. Let's see. It's hard to do with one hand. 
Okay, so this is the fillet knife. It's flexible, so you could fillet fish. Um, this one here is the boning knife. And I will do a more detailed video on my knives and what the usages are for each one. This is a boning knife. It's not flexible. It's very sturdy, cutting through bones. Um, we have a spatula and we have a, I forgot what kind of knife this is. Another serrated knife, bread knife, meat knife, something. I forget the names, but yeah, this is my knife kit now. It's a mess. These pockets are starting to rip. They have holes, the stitching is coming out, different stuff. Um, nothing really major, but I feel like it's time for a new knife kit. I'm in my senior year. It's time to invest in better products that will last me longer. And yeah. Okay, and final pocket is this back pocket here. Um, I, oopsies, dropped something. I keep my thermometer here. What else is in here? I really don't know. Oh, look, see? Here's the angled tweezers. So I honestly thought these were at school, but they're not. They're here. I like these ones better. Um, I have pens in there. Lotion. Just a bunch of different random stuff. Um, these are things that you'll need in your chef coat. We have little, like, little side arm pockets. And yeah. So those are my knife kit essentials. I usually keep tweezers, uh, measuring cups, a scale, which I'm going to be getting a new one. Um, for my new knife kit, I do want to get newer knife guards or for all my knives so that way they don't poke holes through the bag. Um, my biggest reason for making the switch in my knife kit is not only because of the age of this, it is getting older. It's pretty durable though, um, but I prefer to have a backpack. Um, this one strap knife kit starts to hurt your shoulder after a while. I do have to walk to class and back and it's kind of hard to carry sometimes, especially when you have other things to carry in your hands. Like we always have food to take home from class. So I realize we all struggle carrying stuff back to our dorms. Um, but yeah, I feel like this backpack knife kit is going to be great because it has backpack straps. It's a nice color and I think it will be the perfect size for all my knives and other tools that I have. So I'm going to be unboxing this bad boy. Um, I got the chef sack is what it's called. It's the backpack knife kit um, as a birthday gift. I was so excited because I did put this on my list and I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so I'm just unboxing it here. This is the box inside of the box it says chef sack i'm gonna flip this over and take it out i did open the box before just so it's not hard for me to open okay but i haven't opened the chef sack box just yet i'm so excited okay so so far ooh, this is pretty cool so, so far, they have some words inside the box. They have the bag inside of a plastic bag. Um, the words just say, we are culinary mavericks, a new breed of chefs, adaptive, prolific, both artists and scientists, and culinary mavericks wage war against uninspired cooking <laughs> and win. They're a feisty bunch and step up to the fight. They are not blind to the kitchen problems, but they are passionate about fixing them. It's very true. A maverick le leverages knowledge to cook better, to present better, and to serve better. I like this. Um, they defensively protect their tools. Knives sharpen, ready to kitchen, <laughs> ready for kitchen warfare. That is very true. When you're in the kitchen, uh, having your knives dull is very disrespectful. You'll get yelled at for that. Um, Let's see, it's a satisfying meal over picky eaters. Mavericks are fierce about the right ingredients and more stylish in presentation. They create dishes that enhance lives, not just gluttony. A maverick knows that their chef style is direct reflection of a patron's satisfaction. If you ask those clinging to status quo, a maverick is visionary and completely unrealistic, but they are here to challenge the rules. Mediocrity is not acceptable. It really isn't. I am a culinary maverick. And I believe that is what I am. So yeah, this is the chef sack. Oopsies. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a lot larger than I thought. I like the size. This is great. Okay, so I'm opening it up. I like how it's packaged so far. Nothing can spill on it or pierce the box. It's very secure. I like this color. I think this is the black color. It has brown buckles, a few leather straps. It has 
backpack. It's also padded. It's really soft. We have a tag here that just says chef sack. Guys, um, I will link the description in the area below. And I also include a picture of the Amazon um, link where I purchased it as well. I'm going to open this up. Okay, so it opens all the way down. That is really cool. So we have a hard... Hmm. So there's a hard piece in the middle. It's like stiffer. And you can flip it like a book. So this is this section. Closes. And then you have this section. Which also has a hard piece. So that's very smart because, you know, knives are sharp. The hard piece, I'm pretty sure, will help protect your back or the outside from getting pierced that's very cool looks like there's pen slots there's a little zipper pocket here i really like this wow this looks like a spot for a honing steel like it's specifically for a honing steel this right here it's very interesting oh. i really like this <laughs> this is a lot more compact than my knife kit it's gonna be so much easier to carry everything in there's lots of pockets, like a lot of space here. This is very cool. Hmm. So yeah, guys, that is the chef sack. I'm going to switch over my knives. I'm going to include some pictures at the very end of how my knives fit in my new bag. So Hey guys, so I almost forgot to mention, I just now saw this. There is Velcro straps where the knives slip into so the knives don't slip out. That is so genius because in my original knife kit, the knives would lay in there and then they'll turn and slide around and slide out the pockets. So this Velcro strip will keep them from shifting because you can just peel it up, put the knives in there and then close them in. And that is on both sides. That is genius. Okay, so I keep finding more things to this bag. I think it's really cool. There is a name uh, tag slot. It's good to put your phone number and your name here just in case you leave your bag anywhere or it gets picked up. Um, there's also a zipper pocket on the back, which I think is really nice. I'm going to put my notebooks here for class because you never know when you'll need paper. And yeah, I will let you know if I discover any more spots on the bag, but so far this is what I've found. So I have finished putting all my items into my new knife kit, the chef sack. Um, in this first pocket, I will just keep my name tag and my thermometer. It's in here. It's buried. Um, there's a lot of pockets and compartments. Um, up here, I keep my pens. There's a pocket here. Well, I'll keep band-aids just in case you cut yourself. Normally kitchens have that, but it's good to have extra for yourself. Um, I also put some lotion because I have eczema. And I put lip balm as well because chapstick, who wants dry lips? Um, that is the flap. In the pockets, it comes with two zippers, so you can zip it on either side that you choose. In the pockets... This is what the center part is. Then we have the hard parts here. I put my honing steel and my little burrito, burrito thing right there. I just kind of stuck it anywhere because I like to keep the burrito. Um, on this side, I put my little spoon, soft spoons things. I don't really have many of those, so I just put it over there. This side is my tweezers. I actually found all three of them. We have the angled, the deep angled, the one with the angled tip. And then the straight one right here. Okay. And then this is the sharp side. We have all my knives in here. I will do a separate video on the functions of each knife and like what you should use them for. Do's and don'ts for taking care of the um, different knives as well. Um, so yeah, this is my knife side. I'm going to get more knife guards also working on that. But yeah, that is the contents of my new knife kit. This is, once again, the chef sack. It was purchased off of Amazon. I will include the link in the description below. And I will also include um, a picture of the Amazon page itself. And that is all. So far, guys, I am satisfied with my chef sack. I haven't really gotten a good use out of it yet. I did just unbox it. Um, but I will let you guys know how it is a few months in. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to follow me at Crafted by Kiki, and that's Crafted with a K. Thank you for watching.